everybody, it's the War Hipster here coming at you with another Contrast Plus painting tutorial and today we are painting some Orc Terrain. Yes, this is the stuff that comes in the Kill Team Octarius box set and well, this tutorial will be perfect for any of you who are painting sort of ramshackle buildings, ramshackle vehicles, any of that kind of stuff and well, I'm very excited to show you because it's actually quite simple. It looks very daunting at first but well, it's not that bad, I promise you. So, without further ado, we're gonna get into painting it. Now, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna prime it in Rune Lord Brass. And this is because Rune Lord Brass gives us a really lovely neutral metallic, so that when we come to be painting all of our colors on, we're gonna get some really, really cool finishes. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna divide our project into what is essentially three different sections. So we've got this wall and this wall here, and we've got the floor and the roof, and then we've also got the inside of the building. Now, for the purposes of this video, we're gonna be just going through kind of section by section, and well, it takes a little bit of time because, well, we don't have something to just hold it with, like a painting handle or a base. We do have to hold the miniature itself. So what we're gonna do is we are just gonna kind of paint all of this section and then at the end, well, once we've done the kind of front wall, you'll know how to do the roof and how to do the other wall and the inside as well. So without further ado, let's start painting. Now the first color we're gonna be using is Flesh Terra's Red. And we're gonna be using this on all of our red details. <laughs> funnily enough. Now, there is no hard and fast way of doing this. It can really be up to you and how many red details you want, but the two that I'm mainly going to focus on are this orc face and this orc face here. So we're going to take that flesh terra's red and we're just going to start painting it all over these sections like so. Now, typically, I do recommend that you use these kind of big brush, big broad brush strokes, but for the case of painting terrain, you don't really need a 100% smooth coat. And if anything, in these cases, because these are quite grotty, horrible buildings, they're very ramshackle and thrown together. It doesn't actually matter too much if it's a perfect coat. So you kind of just want to slap it on there. Now, as you can see, one of the main benefits of doing this with Rune Lord Brass over the top of Rune Lord, Rune Lord Brass, I should say. You're gonna get a really nice metallic dark red here. So just take your time, pick out all the areas that you wanna be fleshed over as red. And don't worry about getting it on the icon on the front. Because we'll sort that out later. So with that Flesh Terra's red applied to our kind of first section, we've got this outer wall. There might be some more areas that we do some red on here or that you might choose to do red on there or on there, for example. But as I said before, we are just going to ignore that for now. What we're gonna do is we're gonna move on instead. And the next color we're gonna use is Black Templar. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna start picking out all the areas that we wanna be black. So we're just gonna start picking out sort of random panels like this one down here with the Black Templar. Just making sure we get that all over. And then we're just gonna move on. Let's start painting it on this one. And again, we're just kind of slapping this on. like this.
So with that done, as you can see, some of those areas are still drying, but don't worry, because we are going to move on now. And well, the next color we're going to use is Saigor Brown. And this is much the same as what we did with the Black Templar. So we're just going to start picking out areas that we want to be this like a really nice kind of dark brown metal. So for example, this panel just here, I'm going to paint this Saigor Brown all over. Just like that. Now on occasion, much like with this panel just here, you may find that because it goes over onto the other side, you just want to do that bit as well. like this. And so with that Saigor Brown now applied, what we're going to do is we're going to take some Nasdreg Yellow. I'm going to use this to colour in all the areas that we want to be a yellow metallic. So what we're going to do is we're going to, on this tank just here, we're going to start painting this Nasdreg Yellow all over. Just like this. And so with that Nasdreg yellow applied, what we're now going to do is we're going to use some thinned down iron warriors. We're going to use this to basically sort of break up all of that Rune Lord brass that we've now got. We are going to be leaving some Rune Lord brass though, of course. So what we're going to do is we're going to use this iron warriors and I'm going to use it to sort of pick out all of the sort of girders and struts and things like that. All across this facing of the building. So with that done, as you can see, our building is really starting to take shape on one facing. However, there are the rest of those areas to deal with. So what we're going to do now is before we do any shading on this, we are just going to finish off the rest of those areas with exactly the same colours. And I'm going to move on now to the roof. Now, we're basically using the same colours. You could do this bit next, but 
you will have to hold it like this because you won't be able to hold this area because it's still drying. Same for the inside. So to give the outside facing there enough time to dry, we move on to the roof next. So basically, you just want to take the same colors again and just start painting them in. I'm going to start with sidewall brown. I'm just going to pick a place to start. I'm going to start over here on this section of the roof, just like this. So that same process now followed on this side, this side, this side, and of course, this side as well. Our building has really come together, as you can see. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna shade it. I'm gonna use Agrax Earth Shade, and we're just gonna start whacking this all over the building. And well, similar before, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna take it section by section. So we'll do this side of the roof, uh, uh, wall, then we'll do the roof, then the back, and so on and so forth. So just take your time and make sure that you get this all over the model. We're not avoiding anything. We are literally gonna douse this thing in our Grax Earth Shade. You will need to take it a section at a time for this so that you can actually hold the miniature, just like before. This time, the paint's a lot wetter. With that done, you should now have a suitably grim, dark, dirty looking scrap pile of a building like this. Same on the other side, as you can see. So it looks pretty good. And what we've also been doing is we've been doing this video. So we've also been painting the scrap piles in the same way, as you can see, exactly the same colors and these large barricades in exactly the same colors. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna add some highlights. And well, the first one that we're gonna use is Iron Hand Steel, and this is gonna be dry brushed. Now, the reason we're using Iron Hand Steel is because it's a bright enough silver that it will just catch the edges and make them look nice and sharp in terms of the metals but it's not so bright that it gives it kind of like almost like a clean highlight. That's not what we want. So that's why we're not going for Stormhose Silver. And you don't have to do this all over if you don't want to. You can just do it in certain areas. Just add a little bit of a eye-catching silvery sheen to it. But because we've done over a Rune Lord brass base. Everything's got that kind of metallic edge to it anyway. So all of the colors can be dry brushed with this iron hand steel. As you can see, it just immediately elevates it. Including that red there.
And again, it also doesn't have to be a perfect dry brush. It can be a little bit scratchy here and there. It just lends to the effect. Right there, and that is one side done. So now we're going to move on to the next one, which will be this one here. So with that dry brush now applied, as you can see, our building has taken a massive leap forward. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take some thinned down Rackarth flesh and we're gonna use this across all of our orc iconography. So for example, this leering face just up here. Like that. Got one down here as well. We've got this one here. And we've got one just there. And so with that Rackarth flesh now applied, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some skeleton horde. I'm gonna use this, add a little bit of kind of weathering and a little bit of shading to it. We're not gonna go all over. What we are in fact gonna do, is just gonna pick out all of the rivets that this guy's in horde. as well as any of the little dinks and scrapes. Just like that. So that skeleton horde all applied, what we're now going to do is going to take some Screaming Skull and we're going to use this to highlight those rivets as well as the top edges of the icons. Just 
like that. And so with that done, all that's left to do is to once again use some Nasdreg yellow to color in our light bulbs. And there we have it, the Octarius terrain in all of its ramshackle goodness and glory is now all finished. Once again, thank you so much, Javi de la Cruz and Candela, Olivia and Adriana. It was really a pleasure to paint your Kill Team Octarius set. Uh, particularly these buildings were a lot of fun. Very, very simple to do, very, very cool to do. And as you can see, I've also finished off the scrap pile and the barricade as well. It's exactly the same recipe and it really ties together that board and it looks so, so effective. If you enjoyed this video, you love the channel and you want to support me further like these legends and bosses on the screen before you, you can do so. Head to patreon.com forward slash warhipster or head to ko-fi.com forward slash warhipster. Alternatively, you can now become a YouTube channel member by heading to the channel page and clicking on the join button just here, just like these absolute bosses have done. And if you just want to shoot me a little thanks, just because you really love this video, you can click on the thanks button just below this video. Don't forget to share it, like it, comment on it, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And to make sure you stay up to date, don't forget to click the bell icon. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all very soon in the next one. Happy Wargaming.